with Photoshop, you can again do one more tool, what we call this tool as a smart filter. So you go on to the filter, you come to the sharpen, you go to smart sharpen. Okay. You would have seen many photographers doing portraits when they do portraits. Uh, each and every feather of the you know bird looks apart so uh, this is the secret tool behind it okay so once you do sharpen <coughs> let me also get my photograph at 100 percent capacity okay so now you will see see now so now my photograph also stands at if i press uh, space bar the hand tool comes out in photoshop you can drag your images okay now if i do a ultra close up or if i want to you know make this monal only stand out of that image uh, it will look so grainy so which i don't want because this was a high iso image clicked early in the morning so you know this is it so <clears throat> what you can do again uh, my suggestion to you would be uh, do not over sharpen your photograph 99% to 110% amount is fine do not go uh, the radius means typically the brush radius of sharpening okay so the radius of the brush should not be more than 1.5 1.6 else the photographs will have a lot of grain clarity will be there feather feather clarity will be there but it will also have a lot of grain okay and then you can also reduce noise so uh, not more than you know again if you reduce noise too much you will also lose on details so never allow it to go beyond seven to eight percent okay again my advice it's a plug and play thing keep playing with it okay so now i have applied the sharpness tool and now my image looks uh, you know much sharper more advisable uh, you know more advisable in portraits uh, rather than the scape photographs like this or habitat shots like this but still uh, more sharpened image does not harm much okay now i have rasterized this layer rasterization simply means i am clubbing the impact of this photograph on the entire you know uh, whatever effect i have done the sharpen has got superimposed on this uh, photograph okay again you will see uh, tools like uh, brightness contrast vibrance we have done all this in raw so we need not to touch it okay uh, click on right click one more duplicate layer of your image that's fine now the critical part of it that now people have told you to give it into certain dimensions so now you go to <coughs> file just keep this step keep this photograph open go to file go on new as soon as I, you press new you will get now you can change the name of this file so i am doing doing one of pair mails okay i have named the image now there are presets there is us paper international photo now if you go to photo it will say three by two inches you know landscape portrait all the things are there typically we need it for facebook photoshop and everything you know so uh, my laptop uh, dimension is 1920 by 1080 so i want to make a screen saver so i've done that okay if you want to digital share only this photograph keep the resolution at 7200 else you can do it at 300 okay 300 will give you a heavy file 72 pixels per inch will give you a lighter file okay now i open this up <coughs> This is now the frame in which I have to set this photograph. Okay, so my whatever image now gets pasted on this, it's like a drawing sheet which I have cut. It's a pre decided drawing sheet. Now I'll put the image on it. I'll cut the rest of the image which is out of this sheet. Okay, as per my desires. So now I go to this tab. You know drag and drop tool i have i drop this image over here <clears throat> okay so 
now you see this image is here now if i would have wanted to spare a single monal here done you know the single monal in 1920 by 1080 72 pixels i'm done but still uh, i want to frame both of them okay please remember control minus is for zoom out in photoshop so i am pressing control minus i press control minus again okay so now i press control minus again okay so this now this pink line is what my image is uh, this image which is now visible is my cut out you know sheet okay so now please remember to press control t okay as soon as you press control t you are giving photoshop a request that now i am transforming my image okay so control t stands for transforming now you can see my entire image is this outline but i have to paste it on this sheet okay so i need to zoom out a bit okay <clears throat> now to zoom out you have to press control plus shift both as soon as you do you will see control t okay yeah see now as soon as I, as soon as you press press alt plus shift what you will get is this arrow will get opened up now i am dragging this arrow see now my image is okay if you don't do it with alt shift what will happen your image will get skewed it will not reduce from all sides okay so please keep in mind now if i see now these white lines are my image uh, this image which is getting reflected is my sheet uh, and not finding these green leaves uh, very welcoming so i want to take them out what i'll do i'll again not renovate okay see now the green leaves are almost out of the frame now see now if i do like this my yellow sheet will be or orange sheet will be visible which is not good okay so this is it i've done that okay now both the monals are in frame uh, leaves are also almost out of the frame i do not encourage stamping tools and you know all those things uh, but naturally birds will be found in you know <clears throat> clutters and leaves and with you know any even background so do not look too much into it just go with the flow okay now i press enter as soon as i have pressed the enter you will see the white line has gone control plus plus will <clears throat> see now my image is ready still if i want to do some minor corrections i can do over here okay but uh, really i don't think any corrections are required see now see now Let's see now more of uh, the green leaves have gone okay so i can still drag and drop okay now what i do i press control i keep pressing control shift s okay so control plus shift plus s will give you option of how to save this particular image okay so i want see now image name is monal pair mails dot psd psd is photoshop flow but i want to save these files into a jpeg format so i have saved them into jpeg see now the entire name is monal pairs jpg okay and i save my file okay that's it so simple <coughs> okay keep the quality to the maximum hmm. so that's it my file has got saved now see now you can see saving 15% so that my file is saved now so now i minimize my photoshop okay i'll i'll go to the folder where i've saved this file see now one alpair mails 
again I am using Irfan view to show you final edited file. So this was edited file. Okay, uh, this is the edited file. I'll also show you the unedited file which we have done just now. Okay. See now, this is unedited file. <clears throat> this is your edited. See the difference. See how dull is unedited file and how vibrant is edited file. Okay. So keep clicking, keep clicking in raw. Okay. It it only adds value to your photographs. It doesn't takes away any value. Okay. So stay tuned. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Press the bell icon and stay tuned to our alerts. A lot more would be coming during these lockdown periods. Okay. Green regards from Team Nemophilist. This is Siddharth, Tushar, Muzaffar, Nitin, Abhay sir signing off. Thank you.